today we're taking a look at Ultimate ROM. This is baseband XXLT3 and ROM version 6. So this is XXLT4 ROM from user Josh at XDA Developer. Okay, so I've always been a fan of Ultimate Jelly Bean ROM by Josh and I've done quite a few videos and reviews on his ROMs and I'm just going to go through and show you about the ROM itself. So as we can see here, the ROM version and the baseband version is XXLT3. That's a, a big improvement from XXLXZ, which was the Samsung official firmware. Now the big improvement with this version of 4.1.2 leaked firmware is the battery life. This is significantly better than XXLSZ. Now we have the standard features that Josh has, the update over the year, the ink effect, but I'm going to go to my battery settings and show you how the batteries lasted over the last little while on this device. So over the past 21 hours you can see it's been charging at the end, but at the beginning there's been a significant use of Wi-Fi. It's been awake for quite a long time. The GPS has been on a lot, but you can see that the network has been trying to discover quite a lot during that period, which also drains battery life, as we know. And if we compare that to XXLSZ, you'll notice, oh yeah, I'm sure you would have noticed that your battery struggles to last a day, and this has lasted almost two days, and I still had 20% left at the end of the day. So that's, that's a huge change. I'm really happy with this run, actually. Right, now if we go back to Ultimate ROM itself, we can see that everything works as it did before. So we have Super User, we have SNote. Um, we don't have a couple of things that you can see on here, like the transparent status bar, which I'll put in the top right corner. Click on that and it'll, it'll direct you to a video on how to get that for your device. And also how to add a note. There's a video to that, which is in the top right corner right now. We'll direct you to a video on how to enable a note for your Galaxy Note as well. Now, just like Ultimate did prior to this version, version 5, it loads applications pretty quick. You can see phone is probably one of the slowest applications to open, and it was pretty quick. Going to contacts, to favorites, is pretty smooth. Going to logs, back to favorites, is quick. If I go back to contacts again, it should take quite a long time, but let's just see. That's not bad actually, I've got quite a few contacts in there, and that was that was reasonably quick. Right, now if we go and check out S Calendar, that loads, loads pretty quick. We look at Play Store version 4.2, sorry, 4.0.2, depending on your connection, that's not too bad. Anyway, so I'll put a link in the description to the ROM download link, and if you thumbs up the video, that'll encourage me to make more videos, because I'm getting a bit slack, aren't I?